yeah so i think it's a lot of uh, this situation yeah so i'm back and uh, if uh, anyone wants to view because i couldn't share my slides here screen share just uh, take it up from this screen and uh, just share it and then this is uh, how it's gonna be like when you come into the Google Docs so I think for the sake of uh, sometimes it's uh, Facebook is they have a problem and I think that's a lot of uh, issues that I face as well so I'm actually live back on the videos and uh, So I think if you want to be ready, uh, just look at it and there's a lot of nuggets to share. So I think it's a... Uh, and they can read it and uh, hopefully that will be very something useful. So what happens when I wrote through the Ramadan and uh, this is not a crystal ball projection. This is uh, mainly from what I have uh, noticed from the trend. So I use a hashtag, uh, this orange red color. So if you read this hashtag, so I will just uh, post a sticker and you can see that there's a ask for help section. And then you can just know that how is the Q&A answers comes in. So I'll through section by section and I will just uh, say that how do you go about uh, doing this. So there is a three things I'm talking about. One is a brief market trends and validate Ramadan. For example. And secondly, is that understand digital strategy. And uh, when you look at the digital strategy, will be how did you look at this strategy in terms of like how do you use uh, marketing? And uh, lastly, is uh, one. So you can look through this and then uh, we can just uh, talk about it further. And uh, I think you can actually just uh, screen through and all that. So having to look at the uh, first step is, of course, uh, when you do a Google research trend, you should be finding it like, how did you uh, find your trend Google? So if you look at the keyword here, uh, this is in the first uh, slide. You can see that I typed in a Ramadan as a keyword. And they come up with a keyword called Ramadan out countdown yet ganti puasa bulan Ramadan first Ramadan 2020 Ramadan 2020 Malaysia and when is Ramadan 2020? So uh, just a short poll: How many of you actually know when is Ramadan actually is the date? Right and uh. So yeah, um, if you guys can just uh, follow, then it'll be very easy. So what happens is that when I have uh, this uh, Ramadan period, so there is also a particular lookout, like where is the location? So I look at location on the next slide here is Putrajaya, Terengganu, Perlis, Slango, and Sabah. So that will be one of the things that you can uh, mention about as well. And uh, when it comes to query, so you can check on the next slide here. And uh, you can see that actually the queries on like Bazaar Ramadan 2020 and Ramadan 2020 day is very popular. So when you have this in mind, um, you can actually check on how did you do this particular trend of uh, Ramadan. So I will just uh, probably be going through on a short screen as well. So I think it's a very uh, simple example. And uh, when you go through this and uh, you can actually see that from itself. 
so let me just uh, type in some of the key status to people so I won't be doing a long lengthy presentation today maybe just have a question then you can just uh, look at and type in accordingly so does anyone follow on this particular slide uh, if you have a trend once you justify a Google trend and uh, you can actually look at this in a proper manner and uh, this is how you're gonna be like looking at this screen so hopefully that will be one of the things that you can look through as a particular way and uh, there's a few slides that you can take a look here so for those who are actually just uh, tuning in uh, I'll just giving you the link here again so I don't want to share the screen and all that so when you have on the particular uh, note so I'm looking at the slide says uh, Tengok account IGB when you're ready and uh, this will be one of the new things that you will probably think other than essentials like food what would be the possible trends that I can look at when I look at Ramadan so you can see on my screen there is uh, this uh, auto slide sales rise like automobile fixing uh, gaming surprisingly is one of the demands and now uh, if you ask where do I get this information is from the reputable research sources where in Ramadan most of the countries like Yemen Saudi Arabia will be part of where the action is going to be like in terms of the essentials so when I look at the trends there will be also like uh, other than uh, Malaysia uh, if you know what's a company called Nutella is one of the ones that we want to tend to look at how the Amara campaign works. So if anyone able to follow this, that was just a very good way to um, safeguard the audience. The countries like Yemen, Saudi Arabia, yeah. out of where the action is going to be like in terms of the yeah. essentials. So if anyone looking so for apparels, when I look at the trends, it, it will be also good like, to also look at uh, apparels than, uh, quite. Uh, Malaysia. Uh, so you may want to look at the trends where the there's a this ten to have build attractions ten to fourteen days before Ramadan. So hence that's why I'm doing this live, uh, just a short test to see whether it, the trend holds true when we do the research later. Okay. So, yeah. And uh, this is the second part. Uh, so I'll just, in case of any questions, you can just pop in the chat. So if there's a streamline lagging compared to the actual timeline that I speak. Yep, so let's just pause for one, two minutes and see how it goes from there. And uh, hopefully that there's some uh, audience wants to ask questions. I see that Charmin is all here live online with the live sessions. And there's others like um, in Joanne. So there's uh, also like particularly the form of the things that we have here. So I believe that. Uh, so Shamin is asking like, how do we market the products and uh, for, for products how and uh, that's from Ramadan Bazaar. So that's the next stage that we are going to talk about this in a few slides that I'm going to go through a quick one. So uh, currently, what we are looking at, if you look at a few trends that we have just now. And one of the avenues that I mentioned in the earlier presentation is called BazaarRayat.com. So what happens is that when due to pandemic, most of the people will not be able to set up their booth source on the physical entity. And uh, hence, we believe that this is one of the real aspects of how we should create an infrastructure or some platform for people to see your product visually before you actually 
even put up your actual products on the delivery logistics and to test also the market demand so i think there's a question that uh, we will good to ask as well but let me just go through on the, this slide so basically the second part that i'm going to talk to you, a lot of it uh if you can follow this is the screen so i i've noticed that i couldn't do the share screen here uh next time so i will be using an x uh split broadcast thing i'm testing out so what happens in the one of the trend that i'm looking at right now is how do you look at the youtube videos to ensure that well how do you produce a web series and also if you want to do like a team so i will suggest using a family and togetherness team so if you're wondering what is a family and together if you look at the campaigns like petronas model so petronas actually has a very good uh, youtube videos every year and uh, if i uh, see that from this facebook itself so i'm just going to type an example of this in the facebook chat it's here so where i think it's very good is create a campaign always think of a team like how do we bring up this song and dance together as a whole and uh, sometimes this will be a one of the natures where people will tend to assist uh, the message that you're trying to carry out and uh, one of the very important thing is that if you want to connect with people uh, what kind of emotions that you want to carry out for uh, this particular trend so let's say in the current marketing channel uh, uh, anyone uses TikTok often so if you can just yes uh, if it's no then you can just type no so that's one of the very important things that uh, channels that people may have heard about it but not and not sure how many of people actually realize that this is a uh, part of the channels that could be in the popular series so if you want to check it out that's uh, one of the things that you can take a look as well and uh, so this is uh, one aspect where the campaigns, I think it's going to be helpful. And uh, if you think of TikTok, it's just something that you can just uh, do dance and do movements. And uh, you will probably want to look at the hashtags and see that how actually the messaging comes in and says that, uh, what is the ways how you can visualize the message behind it so that's the whole idea of uh, what I'm gonna share like in terms of building a brand awareness and uh, this hopefully to answer the question when people start to market their product once they do the research on the current things that they're looking at and you probably want to figure out like how do you find a very good uh, ways to storytelling so let's just say if you want to find a Ramadan items uh, I would be probably suggesting that you were just probably thinking of a Ramadan way. Uh, if you use Google suggest option at the bottom, you see in terms of there is also like uh, things like 101 recipe cream way as a keyword. And the other would be uh, recipe kuih me utara so when there are a few keyword suggestions uh, in case you're wondering like how do I get this so this is one of the things that when people tend to look for one keyword called recipe kuih me, uh, for Ramadan you will probably notice that Ramadan kuih and recipe kuih me are related so you can use these keywords in your video content or maybe in your TikTok content to actually drive more people who are searching for these particular searches and you can see them on the particular search results for them to find your product or services so that will be one of the things that you can actually do as well a lot and uh, when you just think that um, in terms of digital strategy so if you get to see that here, uh, I'm talking all right now at this step. So let me know if you follow on this on my Google Docs. So it's the very interesting aspect is that when I drew a research 
I tend to tie up with whether I said anything other than people just watching the YouTube and they do the follow will they do explore or will they play so I'll be using terminologies a lot uh, watch learn play and um, explore So you can just take a look at here and uh, see for yourself and how do you go about it uh, whether this thing makes sense to you or there's uh, some things that you may think that it's new so currently when it comes to like a social media strategy the first step is of course you need to look at uh, storytelling instead of using a lot of fbx so if you look this uh, in the COVID 19 scenario advertising on Facebook will become more expensive as more people choose to build their presence on digital. So this will be one of the strategies where I think a best storytelling for people to share and uh, will be very much of the issues here. So you may think of a few ways how to build this uh, brand strategy. So for example, where I would always look at the campaigns where people tend to have a GRI campaign. So I'm just giving in the type chat that whether this uh, particular campaigns that you can have to help. And always if you notice that if the videos or the content ads leave you theory I and, and based on the comments, you should be able to see it. You should be able to know that if this campaign will work for the same kind of business for you. So if you want to hear uh, very simple ways to find it, uh, just type in the chat box and say, oh, I want to do some uh, research and uh, hashtag ask for help. So let's just hear a bit from the word. If you want to hear this secret for myself. So we just wait for about one two minutes because I think if I wait long, then the FV live video will actually just stop me. It where I would think that is gonna be, and uh, what happens is uh, if you uh, choose to Google and YouTube, so this is a way how you can actually do this and uh, Ramadan Jerry I campaign. So you can see that actually there's uh, examples of these campaigns that uh, resembles the message that I just told. So if you want to have a look later on, you can actually check it out from there and uh, see that one for yourself. And you can just feedback to see that whether it's going to be useful or not. So I can tell that there's a lot of visuals like this that you can watch on the aspect of sourcing for different products. But I will also advise that rather than just surfing products look at also the uh, campaigns around them what's the message team and uh, probably like what's your way to have call to action because when you do an very eye campaign people leave the comment so how would you be able to follow up with the people who leave the comments with it so that's one of the things that you probably want to look into the second phase which is called a integrated online so this is one of the interesting aspect of like if i want to run through online campaigns uh, this is in the slide in the document word page 11. so we in this law that it says that youtube will be one of the channels that we want to look at into and uh, you may want to look at promoting a teasers kind of so i did mention is particularly youtube because youtube is competing with tv for you and spend you will probably want to look at uh, TikTok and also Instagram if your products is have a customer base in uh, Instagram that is mentioned so Instagram will depending on how good your hashtags searches and uh, probably the followers or your competitors that may be advertising in the hashtags Instagram so these are the ones that you probably need to look for and uh, to celebrate the strategy is you probably want to look alive with a challenge uh, have you all looked at the tier life? Anyone knows what is tier life?
So if it's yes, and uh, yes. So that will be one of the interesting things that is very good to follow. Um, now why I will use the tier life example is because they like to use Malaysians to be encouraged as possible when drinking their favorite tea. Right now, if, if you notice that favorite tea will be uh, one of the things that be not as popular as like posting your favorite food recipes on Facebook. So everybody sticks at home and posted their live meals. So you can notice that the trend are changing with that behavioral observation. If you look at your friends, you probably can see this trend quite uh, easily. But my key point is here, if you want to start with a storytelling, learn to give back something to society and relate it to a team and uh, make sure that your authentic is based on some customer insights that you have mentions and also try to use some of the lights uh, versions of this Raya so you may not need to have a wordy length of Raya you may just want to see that they are kind of gimmicky interaction I will be posting one example in the here if we find it so if you say that uh, Ed Murabak is one of the simple ones and uh, when you come after the live sessions finished you can actually probably look at the later on where this Ed Murabak and the pictures how do they tie together for the teasers so this is one of the good ways that you can actually learn to use a teaser level and uh, if you try also uh, think through when you look at a website, if you have a website, how we automate this delivery of service. And uh, these services, there are some of these uh, particular things that you can look into. So when you look at Kampong uh, Chicken, let me just type in here. So there's a one particular link that I've given in this. Uh, so if you look at the Kimpong Chicken, you can actually see that there is a place that few slides that I put in. So on the floor of uh, Kampong Chicken, you can actually look at the place that people do ordering now using and now so you can actually order chicken that is cost 29 to 90 and some messages shop people just can send it to your white group and uh, they can actually follow up with true orders from there so this is actually one of the ways that if you do not have a store or if you do not have a website yet so i would suggest that this is the one message they can put. and uh, if you notice that free websites are also provided by google so if you have a google site you can use them and uh, you can use the Google sites to actually determine the searches. So it's a uh, part of face the strategy is that how would you be uh, stay good to share on this? Yes, uh, and uh, Mr. Kayo is uh, looking at the um, Ayam Kampong. So if we look at the keyword search, Ayam Kampong would probably be something that we may not see trend yet. Let's just verify and see. Uh, you can actually say terms maybe Nikolot Sarawak and Kampong will be good to know and the good news is that in Sarawak there's a demand for this I am in Perlis, Perak, Selangor and again how do I verify is using a things called Google Trend so just test it out on yourself and see that if you have any ideas that you want to look at in this uh, campaign strategy so I won't be talking too lot about how do I use a website or how do I use technicals. So if you can ask the questions, yeah, just feel free to pop my questions that you can look here. <laughs> yeah. And uh, yeah, I got saw that Khan Fidaus is here. Hey, hi guys, that's good. Yeah, I have a better haircut before the MCO, so I think that contributes as well. <laughs> yeah, and uh, one of the things that I can actually share a lot is that if you guys like the presentation, 
uh, just feel free to view them and uh, if you want to have a link uh, just give me an address in uh, chat so I will be able to follow up with you on this some of the queries so my goal here is not to talk too much about the presentation slides that I mentioned so the slides were briefly to give an idea about what is uh, aspects of strategy that I use and uh, these are being done ad hotly so I think in the context of the research that I'm doing uh, just courtesy to do it live to share for people to prepare so anyone here remembers what day is Ramadan is going to be starting so that will be a very important question because many of the marketers they miss time in the campaigns due to different time zone of the country they target in so that is actually one of the aspect that you may want to look at as well and also the timing of my life so in case somebody will be interested in TikTok uh, I'll doing an FB live on the 29th of uh, this month it's at 3 p.m. so due to Ramadan starting period it's an uh, it's e was on Facebook uh, web Facebook page so I'll be talking in a bit for a while on this one so right now let's just pause for uh, one minute and see whether I have any questions that people are asking or the first slides that I have shown so I think it's uh, very easy for people to follow <laughs> with the slides. So next round, I'll be doing a lot of uh, explicit broadcasters once I've tested the bugs around it. So in order for me to visualize this and the slides together to follow. So I feel if that comes in, so I'll be just talk about the two steps really. So that I'm going to be talk about these uh, two particular programs that I'm going to show and uh, probably and how you guys are participating in the e Bazaar right yet that we have running right now with our friend so let's just give yourself a break <laughs> and hopefully you guys are having a good sunday as well uh if you guys have understanding my english is not so clear uh saya boleh cakap bahasa melayu tak ada masalah juga yeah so far everyone's okay So we have uh, Kampung Ayam, Kampung Baru, Kampung whatever. Yeah, it's a very good ways of uh, so I, I can just say that uh one ayam belanja makan ayam. Okay. So Charmin asked a very interesting question. Uh if you look auto uh mailer kampung so i think just now facebook live is a problem where facebook doesn't recognize the link so you can just look at the google docs link if you see the screenshot once they have an ordering form they will be able to connect with the boss with some of the order information plus the contact details and they will link directly to the suppliers whatsapp contact so usually the supplier the boss can connect with the customer's potential so i think this is one of the ways that you can uh, simplify the process flow because now the trend is happening in other countries uh, especially in the countries that the expensive flavors they tend to use a lot of automation so automation in terms of like chatbot and uh, auto mailer is the localized malay version of this this will be one of the very good aspects of the marketing as well. And uh, we experimenting on my end, a lot of uh, Bazaar Raya as well. We are testing out on this, like how does the seller able to interact with the customers through not just the website, but through their online engagements. Because obviously you can't really like going to meet people face to face uh, for a very observed, clear reason. So that's one of the things that you can do it. So I don't know if that's company from Sarawak actually does the chatbot. I think there's one guy that talks about this uh, from uh, Carlif Rizal's company. Uh, if you have heard about him, then probably is good. So yeah, any other questions that comes along, yeah, just feel free to shoot because I think uh, that's the first time I'm doing live as well on this. So I hope that you know if there's some value on this feedback, just uh, comment on it, the chat so I can know. Yeah, so other than the streaming equipments improvement which we are looking at for the next life uh, and by the way it's uh, one of the things for life is 
uh, we will do it a lot of preparations beforehand so we won't be doing live every single day uh, rather we want to do it in the form of a q and a and uh, we ex hope in the form of q and a the questions will be ready to come and like how do we go about it okay so if you do not have questions just come to the last uh, part for the so i intend to make it short also to allow people to interact more yeah so Xiaomi is right you can use a whatsapp businesses as well but let's just say that whatsapp business will only be talking to, to people that you know uh i would say that, that you integrate it with google my business with the whatsapp link so under google my business and you put a contact details link or website link you can just put the whatsapp link as well so i know i got this correctly but i think the link that i got in is that if you look at the whatsapp.com.my link you can actually integrate it to your google my business uh, link contact when people see through your google search so that's one of the ways that if you target the right keyword tag plus the right elements to match with the follow-ups that will be one of the best sales flow to do it and of course when people before they interact with you they probably want to see that how good is your presentation is gonna be so let's just say if i post something live on my facebook profile so you can see there are a lot of food here let's just say if i want to tempt mr kayum on this food or some campaigns you can actually start to look at some of the researchers here so i just put it on my facebook profile just for you guys to have a look and if you look at the screen on my facebook profile i shared a two photos so that two photo is an example where you can click something and then you can just put there a simple description and as a call to action it's like go to my whatsapp business link that i provided so that's one of it that we will be working out as well um so i think uh uh, let me just check with the others uh, if there's any questions. Uh, Mr. I think my friend is still online, live, so this is a good. So in particular, that um, there are many ways to go around it. Okay, so for those who just come in uh, for the last bit for now. Okay, uh, there are two things that I'll be talking here in the concurrent. So, uh, one of it is that since uh, Charmaine asked this, uh, how to sell, so I'll be just referring to Bazaraya first and uh, when it comes to the program that comes together with this. So, how does Bazaraya come in the picture with this? Uh, because we are together to actually collaborate on this platform uh, due to MCO and uh, we use this term called e Bazaar Pertama di Malaysia. And uh, if you look at the e Bazaar Pertama, you can actually see link right that I'm giving here. So there are a categories where they use that I mentioned. So you don't really sell just only like uh, phonics. You can sell clothes. You can sell uh, makanan dan minuman. So all categories you can actually see this ones here. And uh, if, yeah, if let me know because I'm working on a example USP and yes others as well so if you want to verify like uh, what we in this context site partners you see my name there at the bottom 
that will be one of the things that you may want to learn how, how you go yeah so it's gonna be like one of the interesting things that is uh, going to be done as a part of the ones that we see and uh if you can follow that uh just let me know if you can't uh just somehow i got lost in somewhere they just uh, tried to hint to me as well so i think if you look at a few contexts uh, when it comes to bazaar what's the difference between uh web bazaar normal ones so there are some of the differences in terms of like you only know a bazaar through uh, announcements in FB, normally in the FB classifieds through your locations or through maybe your YB's constitution that says oh, we have a certain bazaar at a certain day in the week and uh, this is the date of the night so you get to see the food sample yourself and try to bring it back home, buy one or two and tell your friends about it. So in this context, for the first time, we are doing it a bit of different because uh, right now I'm going to look at for example a Queenway campaign and you can actually go to the common laman so we common laman the bazaar so it's uh, part of the bazaar as well and you just click any of the cities inside the KL bazaar and once you click on the food you can just do this buy and you can see drops so i think as i can just click my chat a little bit so are the stores that sell items that mentioned and you can actually see that they actually list down their contact details on the web itself so you can actually call them and ask like oh hey can i do a delivery or can i do this and that and normally when they before you let it try you can actually see that um how does the food are being displayed so that's why they need google the recipe cream way so one of the engagements that we advise the customers to do is how do you use the recipe cream way to allow the people to actually understand how you cook the product and actually visualize it online so if you want to look through a recipe cream way sample so i just need to tie in back to what i in the earlier step one and uh, you can actually say that here is one of the get and then you see that he would then tamanis The question coming up from this is where is Saba and Sora at the moment in the list of stores? So coming to this picture, that a list of stores for Saba and Sora, we will probably be looking at the bits of a uh, list of fifteen sellers as we're going to consolidate this in under the one section for Saba and Sora Nagui, and also for the two sellers as we don't have a same delivery model like go get uh, my taxi scrap and also the maxim services that we have in the clang valley so probably the Dell sellers on their site will be able to mark up their own delivery pricing and the uh, timeline of delivery because that will be one area where we allow the autonomy to both of these states to take control so what the point is that we have some discussions with the state of innovations uh, in the Sabah states already so we're just hoping that they will approve this stores listing in a couple of days before Ramadan uh, as you all know in case you all don't know when is Ramadan is uh, going to be starting on the 23rd of April this month so if you think there's an offer some of these stores are getting a promo of uh, RM16 gate for one year which is uh, extendable for this uh, Ramadan extension. So if you do choose to have a free account, you actually get to list it on free, but the commissions per sales will be charged on base of the item sales, uh, sales for example. So if you want to know more about like the commission rates and the sales and etc., uh, just log on to the Facebook of the AIM technology. So I'll just drop a link here. And uh, one of your customers, so come back to depending on which state and uh, if i think charmaine will probably have the contact person already so you can actually talk to 
uh, farmers and up so that you know at least we have the numbers mentioned it's easier for us to support with uh, these decent numbers that we have uh, reason being if there's one or two sellers we experimented in Klang Valley there's not many in Trust with the customers who check out the Bazaar Raya online to visualize to see it. So we are actually addressing this with the uh, agencies. Hopefully next week we will know this news. And uh, I think this is one of the questions that you were uh, that uh, good answers like how to go about it. And uh, coming to the last, just before I start my last Q and A, uh, if you guys are interested, I'm running uh, this free course by our government program under NBAC. So if you guys want to have uh, information, just lock on your details on the form. So the form actually I have stated the date of the Zoom class they are in. So for some people, they, we allow to have a Zoom classes that up to 40 people. But I think for the sake of experience, we wanted to work on about 20 people for better interaction. So we want to use the chat to prevent uh, security issues, as some of you may know. Also, uh, the date that I have to have. If the strategy that I told you was interesting, there are things that I'm talking inside the workshop, which is from 10 to 5 p.m. It's on a weekdays, uh, on one on weekends. So you can choose either one of these two dates. The reason why I think it's doing right now is why is because. When Ramadan sellers come, they will have questions that I've asked is, uh, how did you go a roadmap on this business if they don't have a website? So it is very common when we ask the tailors questions like, how would you go about doing this uh, without a website? Normally they have a Facebook or Instagram account. This is a common question. <laughs> and secondly, they will ask is, do we need a proper packaging to make sure customers understand our product or service online? Uh, the answer will be a short one. If you can do it in the actual product with a YouTube, that will be a lot better than having a doctor or a flyer. So the reason why I'm doing live also is partly because if you guys that live sessions asking me questions, help, rather than me posting my posters, yeah, just feel free to put on the comments says, yeah, I agree with this. So this is one of the, the good wheels that I'm doing. And uh, particularly, if you want to know marketing strategies, uh, you can always log on 11 p.m. at the YouTube live channel for Pat Flynn income stream. So notice some of the aspects of how he does a very successful business. And I learned this from him now that he advocates daily sharing per hour every day. So imagine of someone of his scale who makes a million dollar businesses and he spends every hour just to answer all the questions and interact with his audience reader. So I think it's a good way practice that I should can do the same, but localize the context to what I want to share in my particular experience details. So comes to the last point of this uh, one I want to talk about also is that if you think that anything that you would like to address here, uh, I know that uh, Shaman has put the remarks of this. Uh, they, they just call me Alton, is, I think it's fine. And one of the message that I think it's like being proactive is important at this moment. Like I won't be telling much how do I define as a proactive, but if you want to do something and you think that if it's worth for you to work on and also to take some a bit of risk uh, we understand that in entrepreneurship there's a risk and uh, we always strive to work together and uh, collaborate to see how does we help a successful venture so that is a few points that I want to address for this evening so I will leave it now just a short probably one minute uh, over a QA and a because I know that this is about 40. I'm just trying out a few things features and uh, due to the audience size, we don't need to have a lengthy Q and A's at this stage. So you can just ask me on the Facebook still. Uh, let's just hear from the rest uh, with Kayum and are still around and maybe others as well who join in. Then you can just uh, tap in with your questions. 
So I don't have a quick answer like how do I build a website or how do I make a sale. So that is something that I can't answer in this live stream. But normally in the workshops of the EOS one, there are really your questions that comes in says, how do I build a Are you doing anything on run? run? Okay, uh, we got a couple more, one, and I think we can just call it off. Alright, so I think uh, you can look later on and uh, connect again soon. So if anyone wants to go into the workshop, it's on uh, Tuesday and also the Saturdays on my EU Sawan. Uh, and also the bazaar deadline, if you all got it's the 14th of April. So yeah, just see you here and uh, have a good Sunday. Thank you.